Hey y'all, Carolina Venom here. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you my final thoughts and review of Cricut Wireless. I have used them for just over a month and uh, I'm going to tell you the goods, the bads, what I think about it, my recommendations, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first of all, uh, I really like the service. Uh, I get great coverage. Uh, LTE is about everywhere I go, except for some, you know, outlining areas uh, once I have actually went into edge which is you know of course 2g which is beyond slow but that's only one time out of the whole month and that was in the middle of nowhere so uh, everywhere I've been I've been in LTE and uh, strong coverage uh, strong call quality um, excellent service I've not had any issue uh, I have had to call customer service a couple of times uh, for certain little things, it really didn't matter, but, um, you know, I'll get into that here in just a few minutes. Um, their plans are really awesome as well. They got three plans for smartphones. Uh, they're 40, 50, and 60. And, of course, they're all unlimited. Unlimited data, talk, text, picture, everything. Um, but the different plans, of course, has different gigs for um, your high-speed cap. For 40 bucks a month, you get one gigabyte of high-speed data. Uh, for 50 bucks a month, you get three gigs of high-speed data. And for 60 a month, you get 10 gigs of high-speed data. And of course, after that, you are throttled down to 2G speeds, which is still usable. You know, if you use the lowest setting of YouTube, or if you're on Facebook or Instagram, stuff like that, you are able to, you know, work pretty well. It is a little slow, but you know it is still unlimited, and it does not cut you off completely. Uh, you can shave off five dollars a month if you choose auto pay, so it'd be thirty five, forty five, and fifty five, which is a very good deal. And one of the best parts about the plans is the taxes and fees are included. So if your plan is fifty dollars a month, you pay fifty bucks a month. There's no taxes, no fees. It's all included in. And if you got auto pay, you can pay forty five bucks a month taxes and fees included so that's one of the awesome things about cricket is the fact that there's that it's all included in um they have extended their promotion to where if you port your number from i think it's t-mobile uh, boost mobile virgin mobile cincinnati bell metro pcs if you port your number over uh to cricket they give you a hundred dollar credit of course, you got to pay your first month's bill. Then your next month, um, which which mine, I got two months free. I paid for my first month, and then this month here took out of my credit, and next month will come out of my credit. So I'll get so my payment won't be due until March, which is really awesome. And also, if you add extra lines, they take ten bucks off the plan. For each additional line so Cricut really has some of the best plans I was with boost mobile and I really like boost mobile and I still would be with boost mobile if they had coverage really good in my area which I knew when I got boost mobile that the coverage was bad in my area but I liked the service so much and the phones and the plans that I really didn't care uh, because you know, I'll get into this here in a few minutes on the bad side, but with Boost Mobile, you had full LTE. So, you know, yeah, 25, 30 megs down. Um, so that's really, you know, the, the main things with, with Cricket is, you know, you got good LTE speeds, uh, even though they're not reaching their full potential. You know, it's just AT&T took over Cricket. Um, it's became very reliable. I had I had Cricket back whenever it, it was um, on the CDMA, using Sprint towers, and I was and, and I was not satisfied whatsoever. But you know, since I gave him a chance here, you know, I do not actually own a Cricket device. Um, all the phones I use are AT and T Go phone devices, and they all seem to work fine using the Cricket SIM card. So you know, it's all good. Uh, but really, that's that's really you know all the things about it is good i mean it's not not no problem with the service and it's just really reliable now for the not so good things and there's only a couple uh but you know you know they're they're aggravating if you need to get a hold of somebody and number one is customer service uh customer service in general as far as talking to someone is not bad 
uh, it's the wait times. Uh, it don't matter if you call in the morning, afternoon, evening, night. It don't matter. They are always experiencing either long call volumes, which they say wait 10 minutes. You may wait 10 minutes. You may wait 30 minutes. Um, if they say extremely high call volumes, it could be between 30 minutes and an hour before you get a hold of anybody. And if you want to ask ask a simple question, waiting an hour on the phone really gets on your nerves. So their wait times, maybe they're trying to hire more customer service agents. And right now they're kind of running on the short, running short on on agents to talk to some talk talk to the customers. Um, but right now, that's a major issue. Uh, if you don't got to call customer service you're okay but if you do then expect long wait times um, another thing I want to say is that I don't like about Cricut is the fact that instead of having full LTE service where it is with AT&T go phone uh, you can get between 20 and 30 plus megabits per second download and in between 10 and 15 megabits upload which is normal nice LTE speeds well, with Cricket, when you are in LTE service, um, AT&T or whoever it does, whoever controls it, limits you to only 8 megabits per second download. Uh, whenever I run a speed test, it'll shoot up to like 12, 13 megabits download, but it'll quickly drop down to 7, 7.5 to 8.5, depending on the coverage area. And so... 8 megabits per second download is 1. It takes 8 megabits to make 1 megabyte. So whenever you got LTE, you're only pushing 8 megabits per second download. Yes, that's decent enough speed. And that's okay speed for HSPA+, Plus, but that's very unacceptable for LTE. And I really wish that they would release the full power of the LTE to Cricut. And also, if you go into HSPA+, Plus, their maximum download speed is only 4 megabits per second, which is pretty slow, and it does take some time to load pages a lot of times, and upload speeds are pretty bad as well. So that's really the only two issues that I have found with Cricut is customer service wait times and the fact that they slow down LTE from full potential to only 8 megabits per second download max. So that's really the only two problems I have found with Cricut. I have Call Boost Mobile to try to see if I, see about getting my LG Volt uh, unlocked to use on Cricut. And of course, the customer service from Boost Mobile said that they could not do it over the phone and try going into a Boost store and see what I can do about it because it does take a SIM card in the LG Volt it's the LTE SIM card, but I'm going to go into a boost store next week, and I'm going to see if I can get it unlocked, and see if I can use this phone on my Cricut, device, uh, Cricut SIM card, so I'll let y'all know the outcome of that, uh, but as far as I know right now, only GSM. Now, I have not tried buying a T-Mobile phone and putting my Cricut SIM card in one of them and see if it works or not. Uh, I don't really think that the Cricut SIM card would work in a T-Mobile phone, uh, but I may have to try it out and see, um, and I'll let y'all know as well if I ever do that. But uh, like I say, Cricut is a very good, a very good, um, very good wireless carrier. I highly recommend them. The plans are excellent. Um, coverage is excellent, and uh, like I say, highly recommended. Uh, their phones are a little bit on the on the scarce side. They don't really have a whole lot of phones out right now. Um, you know, a lot of them they go from a cheap price to a very expensive price. Uh, so maybe in time they will come out with better devices. Uh, but in the meantime, very satisfied with Cricket. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. Uh, I'll do my best to get back with you and be as helpful as I can to y'all. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. This has been the final review of Cricut Wireless. If there's any issues to come up, I will update on the service. So, uh, all, like, like I say, stay tuned and um, we'll see you in the next video.